Hey guys, real quick before the vlog gets started, I want to remind you guys of a couple things. One, are you in New York City? We want to meet up with you next week on Tuesday, March 28th at 4 p.m. in Central Park. All the details are down below at the link below. Come meet us if you're in New York City. We want to meet Brittany and I do, not the kids. She's pretty nice. Also, Saturday at 3, I believe. Also, info for this is down below as well. If you're a curly girl, you got some natural curls, you want to embrace your curls. There's a really cool um, event that our friend is putting on. Our friend Krista, who designed those shirts that we're selling, which you can also buy one of those if you want. Um, yeah, if you're in the Kansas City area and you're all about curls, you're all about your natural hair, celebrating that, come on out. It's at the Nelson Atkins at three, I believe. But yeah, if you're interested in coming out, just check out the uh, link below so that you can know all the details of what to bring. So anyways, now on the vlog. <music> Good morning. Oh, are you sleeping in a princess dress? Oh, you're so cute. Wait, what did you say? It's only five more hours. Five more hours? <laughs> I feel like that's what everyone says when you have to wake up in the morning. Just five more hours, that's all you need. You're so cute. I love that you sleep in a princess dress. Did you have any princess dreams? Nope. <laughs> You're so cute. So, the kids are at school right now, which means I spent my morning cleaning this room up. So, per usual, I just ran up the stairs, which is why I'm out of breath. I can only clean really up here when they're not here, because <laughs> it's impossible to clean with them here. So, I actually dusted everything this girl, I love her, but she is like the pack rat of them all. So cleaning her area actually took a long time because she collects things in her pillows. She collects things under her bed. Her closet was a mess. It, it's just actually hilarious. So that took me a long time. And then I kind of rearranged in here the boys' room. I still need to decorate in here. It's totally uninspiring. Um, I mean... Kind of doesn't really care, but I think he would love if there's stuff up on the wall and some bookshelves and stuff in there. So I need to work on that. I cleaned their bathroom. Oh, goodness. I feel somewhat accomplished. I mean, I when they're at school, I and they're only at preschool, so it's like half the day. It's not even half the day. It's only a few hours. I had in my mind all these things I was going to get done. Like, I had planned that Maddox was going to nap for two hours, and so I was going to get this room cleaned, and then like part of the other parts of the house clean and I actually only got this area done and that's it. Maddox decided not to nap so I brought the gate up for him and he's actually so cute. The only time he will sit still is if I turn on Moana. Hi, are you watching Moana? Moana, chilling in mama's bed? You look comfy. <laughs> Moana? Do you love Moana? You're so cute. You look so grown up today. I love you, Buggy Bear. Love you. He's like, Mom, I'm watching my movie. Be quiet. All right, guys. Just got done working again. It's usually my kind of go-to thing to do on Tuesdays and Thursdays when the kids go to school. I just drop them off, go work for a bit, and then go pick them up. So, <sighs> making some progress, guys. I may actually have a first piece of business to work on for my company, Divergent Media. But yeah, it's like, I don't know, I talked about it a while ago, just how it's like, it's frustrating sometimes when you're trying to explain what you can offer and also just, you know, do new things for, for businesses. Um, and just getting people to actually buy into that is really hard, but yeah, I mean, you just can't give up. Anyways, it got me thinking though, like what are some things you guys are like, you know, working on or just things like dreams you have that you want to do and accomplish and goals you want to accomplish um, that maybe you're working on now or maybe you've gone through in the past and like how did you work through just 
not having it happen right away. You know what I mean? How are you working through that now if you're trying to do something that's just not taking off or how did you work through it in the past? I don't know, I'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. It's kind of weird for me. This is actually gonna sound maybe kind of stupid and maybe I'm just even short-sighted because I'm not remembering things, but I feel like, I don't know, for whatever reason, I feel like a lot of times when I have ideas and I try and make things happen, um, I always felt like I was getting progress pretty quickly and then things would happen. Um, just with most things in my life, that sounds really stupid, but I feel like it's kind of true. Like most of the things I've tried to do in my life, I'm pretty much done. Like if I've had a goal or an idea or something and I've gone after it, it's pretty much happened eventually. Um, and this was like different and maybe I just got too, I don't know. like. When I had this idea for this company, I was like, oh, this is a good idea. It's something I'm passionate about. I think it could really make a difference and, and be a cool thing to work on. And then even people that I was talking to, they're like, yeah, it's a great idea. It's actually, it makes a lot of sense. And then nothing has happened with it for the past like five months since I launched it. And so I've been like, whoa, what in the world? This is really hard and weird and I'm not used to this. But you just can't give up you can't give up on things that you feel like you know you want to do so that's what i'm dealing with in life i don't know i'm blabbering but let me know your stories down in the comments below i'd love to read them all right guys brittany has got got her creative juices flowing first of all hold on did you show them that chair out front no i didn't guys Brittany, Brittany got this chair and she literally said yeah i fell asleep in it the other day and i was like okay weird until I came out here today and was reading a book and sat in it and it's like the most comfortable chair ever. So we have these. Uh, just do you wanna show them? Oh my glory, the whiteness. Whiteness is real. So we've got these chairs, right? These are kind of the chill chairs. And then, of course, we have the little kid chairs right here. Have these cool, what? What do you say? I don't even know what you're talking about, but that's cool. And then we have these cool plants up here, but this chair, this is like, got like this like little foot rest and everything. Guys, this thing is so comfy. Ah, just don't you think you could just fall asleep on it? It's like so amazing. She just got it from a thrift store. Maybe if I can have a little bit like shade and stuff. You want me to throw shade at you? Yeah. Boy, she do. So that's the front, which we really love. And I need to put up this uh, oh, screen. Yeah. Maybe I can do that on like Snapchat or something. Um, anyways, here is our new improved back porch area, which we used to just kind of have a bunch of like stuff here, like storage. We put our and, recycling. And, 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 and it comes with a little ballerina. Uh, this porch came with a ballerina? Uh -huh. Amazing. But yeah, so like we had this thing upstairs. The kids never really played with it hardly. So we were like, we need to move it and also just get out of the way. I don't know. Ah, here's better. But you have this cool table. It's so cool. And then over but, here, of course, I mean, this area is still pretty chill. Don't you think that, that we, shouldn't, we, should, we shouldn't need this rug because we already have a giant rug. And hey, rug the more rugs, the better. And then we have this area over here, which we still got to work on a tad, but it's, it's cool. It's just a chill area to chill. We're starting to get this grass coming in out here in the back. I need to go get um, a weed eater. One, because, I don't know. I guess I can get a lawnmower, I don't know. If I get a lawnmower though and go over this hay, it's gonna like be kinda crazy. What is this, is this a rock? What the mess? How did I not notice that there's a random piece of like concrete rock right here? This is really weird. But yeah, we got this grass coming in real nice over the hay. I guess I should go ahead and get a lawnmower. I was kind of like, I don't think I need to get a lawnmower because this isn't really full yet. And so I just want to get a weed eater and just kind of level it all a little bit. And the front is so tiny. I don't know. I, I guess I should, I don't know. I'm gonna get a weed eater to start. Your grass really grows, I know. But honestly, with a weed eater right now, because there's so little grass, I can just go right over it really quick with the weed eater and it'll be pretty nice. And also Kylan likes playing with his weed eater while I play with mine, so that's a thing. An amazing, astonishing feat has happened in our house. 
We're having a family dinner at the table. We literally sit here every day and I make a home cooked meal. I know. But it doesn't always happen. So tell us what you made because it is delicious and it's, it looks uh, good. I think it's called um, sun dried tomato and chicken pasta or something like that. Mm. Basically, it's just sun dried tomatoes, sauce. I'm really proud of myself. It's really good. Yeah, it's good. We got some vino to go with them. We got the baby. We got some kids. Happy. Right. No. Mm, oh, please. Now you gotta eat your pasta, bro. So picky. He is. It's so annoying. None of our kids were as picky as him. Uh -uh. But yeah, it's really tasty. But yeah, we normally are not like it's part of just having kids. Usually it's just like, oh, okay, get the kids some food, mm -hmm. get them to bed, and then we'll eat. Or sometimes it's like we always eat in passing. You know, it's yeah, the kids. But there's something so special about this. I eat if I give my fork, so I'm using his. Are you serious right now? Yep. <laughs> Bro, you're the most chill yet most extra kid I've ever seen. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Once again, maybe we'll see you guys tomorrow, some of you, if you're coming out to the Curly Girl photo shoot because you got any curls. Otherwise, we'll see you guys on Monday in the video. Whoa, and there will be an interesting surprise on Monday, so look forward to that. Talk to you guys later, peace.